हेलो एवरीबाडी कैन यू हियर मी यस सो वेलकम टू अ कैन यू हियर मी एन अमेजिंग प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑन पोइट्री we expect the net exam to be conducted uh, on december 1st if possible uh, if uh, probably on december 1st and we have ample time to revise all the genres in detail i have 100 questions here uh, based on university syllabi major authors major works please don't feel pressurized this is an uh, you know a test where i am giving you information i am giving you questions in the coming days you can read about these authors and works extra i will try to explain a little more uh, than the questions but that doesn't mean i will be able to teach everything this is not for teaching this is a session where i am giving you extra details uh, authors names etc that you can follow up on your own okay guys so we'll be doing a uh, test fast uh, i will be explaining a little bit also and at the end of the session please collect the pdf from our telegram channel we have a telegram channel an academy underscore dr kalyani valath please come to the channel and take the pdf and use it well you can study with it that is the plan for today okay everybody are you ready so there are 100 very good questions they are not all easy questions but don't panic don't worry be happy that you are at least getting a lot of questions now and you will be able to prepare more okay guys right in the last uh, period of the exam the towards the exam do not panic relax enjoy be positive don't worry about if whether i'll remember etc in the exam it will be easy in the exam when you see the options you will definitely remember did you understand don't worry at all okay the most important thing before the exam is to stay positive stay relaxed and confident that will really really help you to uh, remember everything in the exam do you understand everyone answer kaanunnilla onnu manasilavunnilla avashyilla can you hear me guys right so i am fine i am excited okay so let us start now ready before we start here is a little reminder an academy girl wants to tell you there is a complete course going on right now you can join with the um uh, you can join with the referral code and get 10% discount okay there is a crash course going on right now which will uh, be over at the end of this month if you join now you will get uh, all the pdf on literary criticism theory and cultural studies it will be amazing if you join for one month or at least one month okay right who among the following is the founder of the rhymers club answer me i'm waiting for your answer hmm the mark is done like a thing is not chalo nu kaanunna illa ee idinna maru vasho okay okay guys who among uh, the following is the founder of the rhymers club it is w b h remember guys uh, rhymers club was a late 19th century club ernest johnson lionel sorry lionel johnson ernest dowson wbh these were the important members okay remember this rhymers club a uh, late victorian club okay next question to you nissim esekiel was invited to rotterdam international poetry festival for poetry reading in 1978 okay remember we are giving you information don't worry 
Nisim Esekil was invited to Rotterdam International Poetry Festival for poetry reading. He, and there he composed this volume of poems. And later, for this volume, he got Sahitya Academy Award. Which is the volume? For which volume of poems did he get? Sahitya Academy Award. Many of you are telling the correct answer. It is indeed Latter-day Psalms. Latter-day Psalms is the collection. Nisim Esekiel got Sahitya Academy Award for it. Nisim Esekiel, uh, before Nisim Esekiel, there was Jayanta Mahapatra who got Sahitya Academy Award in 1981. Relationship. And the first uh, Sahitya Academy Award for Indian Writing in English went to R.K. Narayan. Okay, guys. Next question. Which 20th century Canadian poet defined himself as a romantic with a sense of irony? Which Canadian poet? He was a Jewish Canadian poet. And he inspired Leonard Cohen. Both this man and Leonard Cohen wrote poetry. It is Irving Leighton. Irving Leighton. Irving Leighton was a 20th century Canadian poet and songs also he wrote. He inspired Leonard Cohen. He was a Jewish Canadian poet who wrote in a very ironic manner. That is why romantic with a sense of irony he himself said. Will you remember? Irving Leighton, Canadian poet. Born in Cooma in New South Wales, this Australian poet and essayist is known for his satirical slant. Remember guys, we are giving you extra information. Don't worry, this you will remember in the exam. This Australian poet, very famous Australian poet and essayist, Ha, has a satirical slant. He was referred to as the 20th century's greatest 18th century poet. That means he writes in an 18th century or a classical style, but he is a very great 20th century poet. The Wandering Islands was his first collection. And all that remained of his early work after most of his manuscripts were destroyed in a fire. Did you know that? Most of his manuscripts were destroyed in a fire. His first collection of poetry is Wandering Islands. He wrote in a very uh, classical style, 18th century style. And he had satirical slant. Many of you are telling the correct answer. It is A.D. Hope. A.D. Hope. Wonderful. Proud of you for knowing all the answers. Remember in the exam, these questions will help you. Shall I move on? This, sorry, that is no country for old men. Is the beginning line of a famous poem by W.B. Yeats. So, this is a companion poem of another famous poem. Both these have modernist elements. And remember, this poem talks about Yeats's disillusionment with Ireland. He is dis disillusioned with Ireland. That is right, guys. It is Yeats' Sailing to Byzantium. Yeats' Sailing to Byzantium is the companion poem of Byzantium. Hena, Very good. Very good. Is this quiz helping you? Please remember to like the video, guys. And please share in your social media also. Subscribe to the channel. This 20th century Canadian poet is known for the novel and of the green gables this is a children's novel very famous children's novel the watchman and other poems is also by this writer the watchman and other poems is a poetry collection by this writer who wrote anne of the green gables who is the author of anne of the green gables children's novel and the watchman and other poems that is right, everybody. It is the Canadian writer Lucy Maud Montgomery. Lucy Maud Montgomery wrote the children's novel Anne of the Green Gables and the Watchman and other poems. Go, said the Watchman, is by 
Go set a watchman is by Harper Lee. It is a sequel to To Kill a Mockingbird. Hey na? Yes. Next. Indian Summer is a popular English poem by Jayanta Mahapatra. You have to read it because it is prescribed in universities. Jayanta Mahapatra wrote a lot of poems about landscape, climate, about the region. He talked about uh, Odisha a lot. Uh, the cities of Odisha like Kalahandi, Bhubaneswar, Orissa, Katak. These are very important presences in uh, Jayanta Mahapatra. Remember, he wrote about the landscape and climate and society. The poem, Indian Summer, was originally part of which collection? Remember, there are important collections by important poems, poets that you should remember. I know you are a little confused, isn't it? It is a reign of rights. A reign of rights is the collection where we have the uh, poem, Indian Summer. Please remember to like the video, guys. Okay, shall I move on? Are you loving the quiz? I hope you are. Next question. Look at this. Which Indian poet's autobiography is my son's father? Which Indian poet's autobiography is called my son's father? This poet is uh, also Jewish and uh, he wrote all his major poems when he was very young. He um, got a prize when he was very young and most of his poems were written when he was very young itself, major poems. He was also a journalist. My son's father is his autobiography. Definitely it is jo Dom Moray's. Dom Moray's is the uh, author of the autobiography, My Son's Father. Okay, guys, very good. Then, to which, in, uh, which 20th century Canadian poet wrote the poem to W.B. Yeats? Which 20th century Canadian poet wrote the poem WB, uh, to W.B. Yeats? Have you heard of this poet? He is a very important Canadian poet. Please read about him if you do not remember about him. Okay, guys. Nora M. Holland. Nora M. Holland was a 19th century poet. Who died in 1925. Okay. Nora M. Holland. Um, was a writer born in Ontario. And she was the cousin of W.B. Yeats. That is why she wrote about W.B. Yeats. Remember that important piece of information everybody. Nora M. Holland was a cousin. Actually her mother was a cousin of W.B. Yeats. And uh, they moved to uh, Canada and she lived there. She, had, she has written important poems like Home Thoughts from Abroad. Remember, that is a title of a poem by uh, Robert Browning. But Nora M. Holland also has written Home Thoughts from Abroad. You can read her poetry online in Poem Hunter, etc. Will you read Nora M. Holland? Because of her connection with W.B. Yeats, uh, she could be important. Okay, guys. Okay, next. Which among the following poems by Robert Browning is subtitled A Fragment of a Confession? Remember, this is a very early poem by Robert Browning. The earliest poem actually by Robert Browning. This is subtitled Fragment of a Confession. Tell me which is the poem. That is right. Many of you uh, have told the correct answer. It is Pauline, a fragment of a confession. Pauline, a fragment of a confession. It is a first published poem by Robert Browning and it was written in 1832, published in the next year, 1833. 
okay it will be wonderful if you remember when major writers debut works were published because then you will be able to guess a lot of things in chronology which are the early works which are the later works when was the first work published please remember like that okay right uh, the poem is a confession pauline the fragment of a a fragment of a confession is in the form of a confession by an unnamed poet to his lover uh, pauline is the lover will you remember pauline is the lover an unnamed poet is confessing to pauline okay very good now which australian poet and librettist is regarded as one of australia's finest poets publishing over 420 works including so many poems and librettos tell me who is the author yes many of you are in the correct line it is not judith right she did not write so much it is definitely not judith butler is it gwen harwood or amy wittig bolo judith butler is not an australian poet at all judith right is a poet but she did not write librettist or libra librettos or anything bolo uh, just guess first because even if you go wrong it will help you it will help you to remember later it is gwen harwood i was just uh, finding the information to tell you gwen harwood is a famous uh, australian writer she was born in 1920 her her son john harwood is very famous okay you there are two writers uh, gwen harwood and john harwood you should remember okay she is the mother of john harwood two writers you should read up on all right G gwen harwood is re regarded as australia's one of australia's finest writers even if you go wrong it is absolutely fine because this activity will help you remember okay guys so don't worry now the next question to you ready which poem by Ro robert frost famous poem by robert frost is a long poem primarily in the form of a conversation and it was the conversation over a short period in a single evening between a farmer warren and his wife mary almost all the details you need are there in the question itself they are talking about an ex employee named silas Silas helped Warren with hay making and left the farm at an inappropriate time after being offered pocket money now making his return during winter looking like a miserable sight having changed this is the theme of the poem we have given a complete explanation of the poem here the poem begins like this mary sat musing on the lamp flame at the table waiting for warren when she heard his step she ran on tiptoe down the darkened passage to meet him in the doorway with the news and put him on his guard what is the news silas is back this dramatic story yes is the story of the death of a hired man it is obvious the ex employee silas is the hired man death of a hired man now you will remember na 
Mary and Warren are talking about Sile as a hired man and he has changed. That is what uh, they are saying. Will you remember now? It is by Robert Frost. Don't forget, okay guys? This is a very important poem that is prescribed in many uh, universities. Okay, moving on. Next is an easy question, I suppose. Ready, guys? The apparition of these phases in the crowd, petals on a wet black bow. These are the lines of a poem by Ezra Pound. Which is the poem? These, this is the entire poem. And the entire poem, this poem is in a station of the metro. In a station of the metro by Ezra Pound. This is the entire poem. Apparition of these faces in the crowd, petals on a wet black bow. Wonderful. Did you like the video, guys? Just reminding you again. Which of the following poems by Wallace Stevens begins and ends with non-sentences? The poem of the mind in the act of finding what will suffice. That is the uh, opening. The poem of the act of the mind. That is the last line. This is a poem about, yes, happy. This is a poem about poetry by Wallace Stevens. Now tell me. Wallace Stevens has written about poetry. It is the poem of modern poetry. Wallace Stevens' famous poem prescribed in universities. Remember, Wallace Stevens' famous poem prescribed in universities is of modern poetry. Of modern poetry is uh, by Wallace Stevens. It is about poetry. Don't forget, okay? It begins, the poem of the mind. The poem of the mind is expression related to Wallace Stevens. Guys, did you like the questions? I think the questions are amazing because they will help you remember. The questions contain a lot of details. When you read this once again, this PDF once again, you will remember a lot of this. Okay. For once I myself saw with my own eyes the Sibyl at Kume hanging in a cage. And when the boys said to her, Sibyl, what do you want? She replied, I want to die. This is the translation of the epigraph of the famous poem Dash. The epigraph is in Greek and Latin. The epigraph itself is in Greek and Latin. The translation is about Sibyl wanting to die. Which is the poem? Easy. For once I myself saw with my own eyes the Sibyl at Kume hanging in a cage. And when the boys said to her, Sibyl, what do you want? She replied, I want to die. It is the epigraph of the wasteland. The epigraph is taken from Petronius's Satyricon. The epigraph is taken from Petronius's Satyricon. Okay? Yes. Who ridiculed the poetry of Georgian poets? Who ridiculed the poetry of Georgian poets as that of rainbows, cuckoos, daffodils and timid hares? Georgian poets wrote very rustic poetry. That is why. Georgian poets wrote very rustic poetry. Unlike modernists. And one writer among the modernists Ridiculed their poetry as the poetry of rainbows, cuckoos, daffodils and timid hares. And said that a modern poet should be serious in his profession. Yes, it is T.S. Eliot. It is T.S. Eliot who said that the Georgian poets wrote poetry like rainbows, cuckoos, daffodils and timid hares. Complacencies of the Peignon. And late coffee and oranges in a sunny chair. A woman is sitting in a sunny chair on a Sunday. Drinking coffee and eating oranges without going to church. She doesn't go to church. She is sitting in the patio, in the balcony, looking out. And she is feeling a little guilty perhaps. And there is a conversation between her and another voice. Which is that poem by Wallace Stevens. 
This is the poem by Wallace Stevens. Which is that poem by Wallace Stevens? Yes, it is Sunday morning. Sunday morning where a woman is sitting on Sunday without going to church and drinking coffee, eating oranges. And there is a conversation about religion and what it means by God and whether it is necessary to go to church on Sundays. Okay? Yeats's epitaph reads like this. Yeats's epitaph means on his tomb it is written, Cast a cold eye on life, on death, horseman pass by. From which of these poems is these, are these lines taken? From which of these poems are these lines taken? Bolo. It is a poem that is very famous also. It is under Ben Bulben. This is taken from under Ben Bulben. Yeats's epitaph. Cast a cold eye on life, on death, horseman pass by. Who wrote the poetry collection? Thief on the Moon. It is an Australian poet. Modernist poet from Australia. He was also a journalist and war correspondent. He was Australia's leading poet. Passed away in 1971. Modernist Australian poet. There is a prize named after his name. Thief on the Moon was a 1924 work. He also wrote Earth Visitors. Earth Visitors also by this man. It is Kenneth Slesser. Very good. Australian poet Kenneth Slesser. Thief on the Moon, early poem by him, book by him. Don't forget, okay, guys? Next question. Which among the following poets is not a war poet? Who among them is not a war poet? Who among these poets is not a war poet? Bolo. It is W. H. Davies. W. H. Davies. Edmund Blunden wrote about war. It is W. H. Davies. W. H. Davies. Okay. Edmund Blunden was a soldier and wrote about war. Rupert Brooks, Siegfried Sassoon, Edmund Blunden, all. Yes. Read extra. That is why I am telling you. Please read extra. In which collection of poetry does Ezra Pound move towards the economy of language? Ezra Pound's early collection of poetry. Um, where he moves towards imagism. And for the first time used the word imagist. It is a collection of 25 poems. Des Imagistas is an anthology. Anthology means it is by different... Anthology means... By different poets. Collection means by one poet. Did you understand guys? Anthology is by different poets. Collection is by one poet. 25 poems of pound only there is here. Got it? Des Imagistas is a collection. Nahi, collection nahi hai. Des Imagistas is an anthology. Samaj reho? Okay, Next. Sappho is an ancient Greek poet who wrote Ode to Aphrodite. Which Indian poet wrote the poem Sappho, Sappho to Aphrodite? Are, did you know that? Which Indian poet who uses very violent surrealist imagery wrote Sappho to Aphrodite? Bolo, Sappho to Sappho to Aphrodite. It is the poet who wrote very surrealist, violent imagery. That is the clue. 
surrealist violent imagery kk and daruwala kk and daruwala he was a parsi poet parsi poet whose last three works are isabel on the way to corner shop faces and voices and after cynthia i don't know if you have heard this poet i will tell you about her don't worry amy witting amy witting is an australian poet she was actually the pen name of joan fraser joan fraser okay she is a very famous fine fiction writer who wrote about the past okay guys amy witting wrote these works isabel on the way to the corner shop faces and voices and after cynthia amy witting please read extra okay guys now which famous indian poet wrote the critical work bergson and the stream of consciousness novel the stream of bergson and the stream of consciousness novel it is one work എനിക്ക് വിശന്നിട്ട് വയ്യ ഇത് ഇതൊന്നും വേണ്ട ഇത് പിന്നെ ചൂടാക്കി ഉറങ്ങുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് കൊണ്ടുവന്നാൽ മതി എനിക്ക് ഓട്സോ അങ്ങനെ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടോ യെസ് ഗൈസ് ബേർഗ്സൺ ആൻഡ് ദ സ്ട്രീം ഓഫ് കോൺഷ്യസ്നെസ് നോവൽ എനി ഐഡിയ ദിസ് വാസ് എ വെരി ആക്കഡമിക് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പോയറ്റ് ബേർഗ്സൺ ഹെൻറി ബേർഗ്സൺ ഓൺറി ബേർഗ്സൺ ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ് ടി എസ് എൽ ഇറ്റ് ഹി ഇസ് ദി ഓത്തർ ഓഫ് ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് ഇവല്യൂഷൻ and this poet was a very early indian poet he wrote the novel bergson and the stream of consciousness novel it is not a critical work it is a novel it is a novel okay i was just checking to double check correct it is not a critical work it is a stream of consciousness novel internet says it is a novel do you know it is a whether it's a novel or very academic writer it is shiv k kumar shiv k kumar trap falls in the sky remember i'm just um, double checking so that i wouldn't make any mistake I have not read it of course it's a novel it says internet says it's a novel but it could be critical work na it says novel by shiv k kumar probably it is because of this word i don't know i will just pay, make it work please look up okay do you know have any has anybody read it i'm just checking um anyway just look it up shiv k kumar okay arrange the following poems in chronological order jante ho what is the chronological order shield of achilles is by orden okay martyred other is by tennyson Easter 1916 Yeats and Dover Beach Arnold Bolo It can be it should be Tennyson first then Arnold then yeats then orden hena it is tennyson first this is the way to remember tennyson's mortad other is early after that he put it in uh, idyls of the king 
So Tennyson first, then Arnold, then Yeats, then Auden. So what is the answer A, B, C, D? Yes. Tennyson Mort and other, then Dover Beach, then Easter 1916, then Shield of Achilles. Clear guys? Right. The Owl in the Sacrophagus is an elegy by Walter St Wallace Stevens. The Owl in the Sacrophagus is an elegy by Wallace Stevens. Written for his best friend. Do you know the name of the friend? It is Henry Church. Henry Church. Remember it is a famous poem by Wallace Stevens. Which among the following is not a collection of poetry by James Rini? I hope you know about James Rini. James Rini is a major Canadian poet. I will write here so that you won't remember, you won't forget. James Rini is a Canadian poet. So tell me, which of the following? Is not a collection. It is very easy. No, Death of a Naturalist. It is by Seamus Heaney, not James Reaney. Death of a Naturalist is by Seamus Heaney, na? not James Reaney. Okay, now, got it, guys? Next question. One minute, guys. There is some panga here. Right. Calcutta, a long poem. Have you heard of that? This man lived in Calcutta. Who wrote it? This person lived in Calcutta. It could be Kamala Das. This person started writer's workshop in Calcutta. Writer's workshop in Calcutta. Started by P. Lal. P. Lal is the author of Calcutta, a long poem. Don't forget that. Okay, guys. P. Lal is a poet and uh, he um, started the Writer's Workshop, which is a publishing company that published a lot of um, new writers. A lot of new writers were published by uh, P. Lal. His famous book is The Parrot's Death and other poems. P. Lal has written The Parrot's Death. And other poems. The Parrot's Death is a famous poem by P. Lal. Ha, he published many writers including Nisim Esekiel. Which political activist, artist and educator was the first Aboriginal Australian to publish a book of verse? It is called We Are Going. Who is the first Aboriginal Australian activist? Incidentally, it is a woman. So, We Are Going is a famous book by Udguru Nunukal. Udguru Nunukal is the name of Kath Walker. Aboriginal writer. Kath Walker. Very famous uh, woman Aboriginal poet and activist. Udguru Nunukal wrote We Are Going. Okay, Sally Morgan wrote, My Place. Which among the following poems is an epic poem by William Carlos Williams, published in five volumes, uh, being influenced by James Joyce's Ulysses. William Carlos Williams wrote an epic poem, published in five volumes. Do you know? It is Patterson. Enough, it is influenced by James Joyce's Ulysses. Okay, next. Which among the following poets was an environmentalist? Who among it should be? Who among the following poets was an environmentalist? Impassioned advocate for Aboriginal land rights and got Queen's gold medal for poetry. 
poet and environmentalist very famous poet and environmentalist from australia it is judith wright judith wright is a poet and environmentalist from australia which poet translated the tamil epic silappadigaram into english which famous poet translated silappadigaram into english tell me guys it is r parthasarathi r parthasarathi translated silappadigaram into english okay next uh, ak ramanujan was also a translator ak ramanujan was also a folklorist okay one second what is the english uh, translation english title of um, silappadigaram when he translated it it is silappadigaram translated as the tale of an anklet the tale of an anklet will you remember yeah next which of the following poems by gertrude stein begins thus sweet 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 tea are 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 kitne kitne sweet bologi kitni bar bologi ha sweet 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 tea it is the poem susi asado susi asado by gertrude stein how does ad hope call the major cities of australia in his poem australia very famous poem by ad hope he gives a negative picture of australia here how does he describe yo it's a very bad phrase how does he describe the major cities of australia he calls the major cities of australia teeming sores it's a very negative picture of australia that ad hope gives in this poem Will you remember, guys? Very good, very good. Read Australia, okay? Ad hopes Australia. Please read. Have you been reading my poet poetry recitation? Have you been watching my poetry recitation videos? I will recite all the major poems so that you will remember them. Please watch them; it will help you. Yes, for questions like this, it will help you. Right. the auroras of autumn or that is also wallace stevens wallace stevens is a very major poet in australia the auroras of autumn have you heard of it it is a long poem by wallace stevens uh, this question will help you remember if you don't know don't worry i will show you the question which of these is co correct about it the auroras of autumn is actually a book big book uh, published in 1950 it has 10 cantos sorry yeah 10 cantos correct all the options have 10 cantos it is 240 li sorry 240 lines Two hundred and forty lines divided into ten cantos of twenty-four lines each. Will you remember, everybody? Wonderful. Which twentieth-century Canadian poet was the founding editor of Canadian literature? Which twentieth-century Canadian poet was the founding editor of uh, Canadian literature? What is Canadian literature? The first academic journal dedicated to Canadian writing. bolo editor for founding editor of canadian literature like that based on journals they will ask hai na george woodcock george woodcock jab idea nahi hota tab guess karna and then when you go wrong if you go wrong then you will remember okay next george woodcock
One minute, guys, look at this now. The poet who was influenced by Shelley and Byron. The poet who was influenced by Shelley and Byron. Who is the author of the series titled Bells and Promegranates. Bolo Khan hai? Which Victorian poet was influenced by Shelley and Byron? Yes, it is Robert Browning. He wrote The Last Ride Together, Prospis, Asolando, Caliban Upon Setibos. Hana, I think I missed an earlier question. Which among the following poems by D.G. Rossetti is partly inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven? Which of these poems partly inspired Edgar Allan Poe's Raven Bolo? It is the Blessed Damsel. The Blessed Damsel. Partly inspired Edgar Allan Poe's Raven. The Bird's Bright Ring is an early work by Vikram Seth. The, sorry, not by Vikram Seth. Sorry, by whom? Wrong, wrong. Not by Vikram Seth. The Bird's Bright Ring is an early work by... Do you know this writer was originally from Kerala. The bl bird's bright ring is an early long poem it is. It is a long poem. Will you remember? It's an early long poem by Meena Alexander. It's an early uh, long poem by Meena Alexander. That is right guys. She is from originally from Kerala. Next question. In Nikki Giovanni's The American Vision of Lincoln, the poet argues that the Capitol needs a statue of whom next to Abraham Lincoln. Nikki Giovanni says there should be a statue of whom next to Abraham Lincoln. Do you know? There should be a statue of a famous early African American. It is. Frederick Douglass. He, she says there should be a statue of Frederick Douglass next to that of Abraham Lincoln. Don't forget, okay? Next question. Are you loving the quiz? Is it nice? Is it helping you guys? I hope it is helping you. Very good. Next. Which poem by Langston Hughes begins with the line, Good morning, daddy, ain't you heard? Good morning, daddy, ain't you heard? It is a poem called Dream Boogie. Remember, I am not testing your knowledge or ignorance here. I am just helping you remember more information. Okay, this practice quiz is uh, to help you remember more and more. Okay. It is Dream Boogie by Langston Hughes. Don't forget, okay? Right. Who among the following can be considered one of Canada's confederation poets? There are a group of poets in Canada. Confederation poets. There are a group of poets in Canada. It was a term coined by Malcolm Ross. Confederation poets was a term coined by Malcolm Ross. The confederation poets uh, wrote in 1880s and 1890s. 1880s and 1890s. Famously, it is Duncan Campbell Scott who is a confederation poet. Duncan Duncan Campbell Scott, Archibald Lampman. I will tell you the other names. Will you, will you benefit from that? 
I will write the other names here. Okay, guys. Sorry. Charles. G. D. Roberts. Then Bliss Carman. Then Archibald Lambman. These are the four confederation poets. Okay. Next question. The poem On Killing a Tree. Haven't you heard? On Killing a Tree is a very satirical poem. Saying the tree must be killed. The tree is stealing our air. The tree, tree is stealing our nutrients. The tree is a criminal. You have to kill the tree. Who said it? Who wrote On Killing a Tree? That is right. Many of you are telling me the correct answer. It is Give Patel. Give Patel, one of the Parsi quartets, quartet writers. Which among the following is not a poem by Judith Wright? Judith Wright's famous poems, Blue Arab is a poem by Judith Wright. Bullocky is a poem. Five Senses is a poem. But Beware of Ruins. Yo, sorry. Beware of Ruins. Is not by Judith Wright. Okay, Judith Wright's poems is uh, very important. The po poems of Judith Wright are often prescribed. Beware of Ruins is also prescribed. It is by A.D. Hope. Beware of Ruins is by A.D. Hope. Will you remember everybody? In which poem does Carl Sandberg write the following lines? In which poem did Carl Sandberg write? Come and show me another city with lifted head, singing so proud. Do you know these lines? Carl Sandberg is a famous American poet. And Carl Sandberg's famous poem is Chicago. Carl Sandberg's famous poem is Chicago. And he is famous for his biography of Abraham Lincoln also. Carl Sandburg is famous for his biography of Abraham Lincoln. He wrote Chicago poems. Remember, Carl Sandburg is famous for Chicago poems. Hana? Right. Next question ready everybody? Whose poems have been called the anthems of African Americans? Whose poems have been called the anthems of African Americans? It is the famous poet and autobiographer. Everybody knows the autobiographer. Who is that? It is the autobiographer Maya Angelou. She has written many autobiographies. Are African Americans bowling it? Bowl so inka Derek Walcott and all are African Americans to hai. Which Canadian poet famously stated that for him poetry was all about people and to hell with literature? This is a famous Canadian poet. Do you know these Canadian poets have any anybody? This poet was born in 1933 and he died in 1983. He has got Governor General's Award, the highest award. He was also a dramatist. He was a very famous poet of his generation. Bull Moose is a famous poem. Bull Moose, famous poem. It is by Alden Nowlan. Sorry. Alden Nowlan. Poem is Bull Moose. Will you remember everybody? Just read extra the, on these writers just a little bit. Which among the following poets have attempted a controversial translation 
of Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. You know that Edward Fitzgerald also translated it. Edward Fitzgerald also translated Rubaiyat. But who among these writers translated Rubaiyat controversially? It is Robert Graves. Robert Graves. Remember that. In which poem did w, uh, Robert Frost write? Very easy. Very easy. Good fences make good neighbors. Bolo. In which poem did Robert, Robert Frost write this? Good fences make good neighbors. It is in Robert Frost. Mending wall. Mending wall. Okay. Mending wall. Remember, okay. What kind of poet is... Seku Sandeyata. Have you heard this name? Seku Sandeyata. This is a very contemporary style of poetry. This writer writes a very contemporary style of poetry. Have you heard this name? Seku Sandeyata is an African American poet. And he's a performance poet. African American performance poet. Okay. Right, guys. Next question to you. Are we have reached 50% of our quiz? So please join an academy, subscribe to an academy, and get all the PDF now. One or two. Uh, months will really change your career. I won't be there in an academy forever. As long as I am there, please join and get the most of it is what I would say. But there are also other amazing teachers there for paper one and paper two. Use the referral code Kalyani Walat, please. Right now, I am very proud of this crash course. It's going very well. Just started. You should join. Okay. The pioneer of the Navya movement, Gopala Krishna Adiga, is from Adiga. Many of you, you would know because you are from that state. Gopala Krishna Adiga is from Karnataka. Navya movement is a major movement in Karnataka. Again, one question from James Rini. Among the following, identify the collection of 12 pastoral eclogues by the Canadian poet James Rini. James Rini has written many important poems. His collection of 12 pastoral eclogues is titled what? It is titled A Suit of Nettles. A Suit of Nettles. Okay, guys. Next question. Identify one of the main functions of protest poetry. Identify one of the main functions of protest poetry. Is it to urge African Americans to fight their oppressors? Is it to extol the virtues of living in the free north? Protest poetry. Is it to encourage the society to strive for equality for all? Or is it to argue that slavery was not so bad? Protest poetry, kya bolega? Absolutely. It is to argue, or sorry, encourage that society should strive for equality. Next, which Canadian poet is popularly known as the bard of the Yukon? The bard of the Yukon. Yukon is a very snow clad county where call of the wild is set. Call of the file. Definitely not Northrop, right? Definitely not Leonard Cohen. It is Robert W. Service. Just giving you extra information, guys. If you don't know, don't worry. You should be happy that now you have. In which poem does Kamala Das wish to be? With beggars, fortune tellers, Kurava girls and bangle sellers. 
who visited her ancestral home. She wants to be with all of them. In which poem? It is a hot noon in Malabar. A hot noon in Malabar. Which mystic poet of the 19th century wrote which mystic poet wrote the hound of heaven the hound of heaven definitely not a hazy swinburne he was far from mystic it is francis thompson that is his most famous work it is there in our encyclopedia i have talked about it a little bit francis thompson i hope these quizzes are helping you guys are you tired with so many quizzes I hope you're not tired. I hope you're enjoying. Next. This Canadian poet was the poet laureate of the United States. From 1990 to 91, he won Pulitzer Prize. Do you know who it is? Just remember, I'm giving you extra information in between. This Canadian poet, poet laureate of United States, it is Mark Strand. Mark Strand. Just remember the name. He is not prescribed in any university. Out, out is a single stanza poem. Out, out is a single stanza poem. Uh, by Robert Frost. Relating to the death of an, a boy. The title is a famous allusion to Bolo, out, out, brief candle. Hena? Yes, it is Shakespeare's Macbeth. Absolutely, guys. Out, out, brief candle. Yeah. Yusuf Komanyaka's Blue Dementia. Oh my God, this is a new kind of poetry. Have you heard? 20th century. Yusuf Komanyaka's Blue Dementia is an example of what kind of poetry? It is jazz poetry. These genres in poetry could be important. Please remember, okay? These genres are very important. Remember. Okay, guys? These new genres will really uh, help you to know about poetry. They are very, very important these days. To know about these genres. Okay? Please remember. Now, mo moving on to next question. Who among the following is an Assamese poet? Assamese poet, the moth-eaten howdah of a tusker. Famous poem by this poet. Assamese poet. Bolo. It is Indira Goswami. Very good. You are all amazing students. I am proud of you. Just positively, happily enjoy studying. Uh, you will definitely get very good questions in the exam. You will be able to remember. My prayers are with you. Your hard work is really going to pay. It is really going to help you. Okay? Wonderful. Which among the following is the debut collection of poems by Wallace Stevens? The first collection of poems by Wallace Stevens. It is very famous collection. By the end of this quiz, you will become seriously experts on Wallace Stevens. He was 44 years old when this book was published in 1923. Definitely it is Harmonium, his most famous collection. Harmonium is the correct answer. Aside from meaning exceptional, how else might phenomenal be defined as used in the poem, The Phenomenal Woman? She keeps saying, if you know the poem, you will know. Phenomenal means what? The entire poem is about, nobody will believe how she is doing it. You know? 
nobody believes how she is doing it so it is unbelievable that is what the poem is about if you know the poem you will remember it is unbelievable how she does it you know that is the meaning the canadian poet marjorie pictall the canadian poet marjorie pictall moved to london in the 1910s she is an early 19th century early 20th century writer she wanted to prove her name in the london literary circles and then what happened no avail because she was a female and a colonial identify from the following the poetry collection published during her stay in london marjorie pictall if you did not know this is the explanation that you need to know and the lamp of poor souls is the collection that she wrote while she was in london so i am actually teaching you more canadian uh, new new literatures etc okay through this test i am actually teaching you aga shahid ali's last book is a collection of english ghazals aga shahid ali's last book is a collection of english ghazals which is the book which is the collection of ghazals by agha shahid ali it is the book call me ishmael tonight call me ishmael tonight adrian rich also wrote ghazals adrian rich also wrote ghazals now what is the image used by walcott to describe the setting of decaying human flesh you know walcott talks about what, which of these actually rat also is there i think rat is there i think it is uh, uh, is rat also there i think rat is also there crow i will write <laughs> yeah, i change the question it is a worm please read all these poems okay a far cry from africa it is set against mau mau rebellion kenyans fighting against the british and uh, walcott is against all kinds of war which among the following is not a collection of poetry by helena coleman who is helena coleman do you know i'm just giving you extra information don't panic if you don't remember canadian poet she is if you don't know or remember don't panic i am just trying to help you learn more helena coleman is the author of songs and sonnets marching men and simply songs but drawn shutters is not by helena coleman will you remember guys canadian poet helena coleman early poet not a To, not a later poet but early poet now drawn shutters is by another poet beatrice red path is not that important there is a poem i have given here by william carlos williams William Carlos Williams I have eaten the plums that were in the ice box and which you were probably saving for breakfast forgive me they were delicious so sweet so cold ha ha which is the poem famous poem which is the poem by Wallace Stevens if if you know the title you will easily remember this poem this is just to say this is just to say okay next which among the following is not a poem by gay alison i'm just giving you extra information again again i'm reminding you don't panic if you don't know who is gay alison do you know gay alison is also an early canadian poet at least when when we do questions like this you will at least remember the names okay that is why i want you to remember at least the names in which sorry i didn't answer this it is to my dear brother 
to my dear brother in which poem does kamala das compare herself to a swallow swallow is a song bird in which uh, poem does kamala das compare herself to a swallow it is the old playhouse the old playhouse remember that okay please read all that and sexton won pulitzer prize for poetry in 1967 for which collection and sexton's famous poetry collection it is called live or die and sexton's poetry collection that won pulitzer prize is called live or die which was william carlos williams's final book of poems for which he posthumously won the pulitzer prize of uh, for poetry instead of just asking from everywhere what i did is i asked difficult and important modern writers of the 20th century okay just to give you extra information that is why it is pictures from brugel and other poems pictures from brugel wallace stevens among the following identify the first collection of poetry by beatrice redpath i told you already it is drawn shutters we already said it drawn shutters is by beatrice redpath that is why i didn't write it there are you loving the quiz guys is it helping you so many new names also you are hearing now and slowly you will remember everything don't worry okay chinua chibi's mother in a refugee camp remember this is a very famous poem by chinua chibi chinua chibi has written mother in a refugee camp vultures uh, prescribed in universities mother in a refugee camp portrays what which of these is it the inevitability of death life after death mother mary and jesus or the value of time mother in a refugee camp it presents the inevitability of death remember to read this poem if you can very powerful poem okay guys it's a very powerful poem whose poetry collections are the south wind and shadowy paths do you know the south wind and shadowy paths please guess if you don't know it is a very famous poet ah nahi say famous poet nahi famous poet ka south wind aur hai there is a mistake here guys there is a mistake here guys sorry it is norman sorry there is a mistake i think i made the made a mistake here i wanted to teach you about norman douglas i will just change one sorry guys i thought what is this i have written so, now i want to tell you one thing south wind is also a poem by look at this south wind is also a poem by siegfried sassoon okay that is it he is a norman douglas is a british poet contemporary i gave commands then all smiles stopped together i gave commands and then all smiles stopped together who is the speaker obviously you know it it is a widowed you duke in my last duchess hai na widowed duke amiri baraka was previously known by the name what was the original name of amiri baraka previously known by the name
Leroy Jones, correct. Amiri Baraka is known, uh, seriously known by the name Leroy Jones. He changed his name later. Gabriel Okara's poem, you laughed and laughed and laughed, describes what? Gabriel Okara's poem, you laughed and laughed and laughed, describes what? An interaction between a white colonialist and an African slave. That is the answer. The interaction between a white colonialist and an African slave. Will you remember everybody? You laughed and laughed and laughed by Gabriel Okara. You know the white man laughed means the white man made fun of the African. That is the meaning. The white man laughed. And in Gabriel Okara's poem, he is saying that you laughed, white men, you laughed at us for everything. But we will also laugh because we are more rooted in nature. We live a more natural life. Our bare feet are in the earth. So we will also laugh. That is the meaning of the poem. Which Australian poet, journalist and children's writer conducted the children's page for the Sydney Mail and was known as Cinderella. It is definitely not Bruce Doe. It is Ella May Faden. Australian writers. These are all Australian writers. Remember to look them up. What does black ocean represent in Maya Angelou's poem? Still I rise. Black ocean represents what? Is it Africa? A swamp? A deserted place? Or the speaker? It is the speaker. She says, I am the black ocean. She is referring to all the black people. Okay. The Australian writer Charles Harper is an early writer. He wrote an aboriginal mother's lament. As a dash. Charles Harper wrote an aboriginal mother's lament. As a dramatic monologue. It is a dramatic monologue. Early Australian writer. Okay. How many sections are there in the long poem Jejuri? Arun Kolatkar's Jejuri has how many sections? Do you know every, anybody? Arun Kolatkar wrote Jejuri after visiting Jejuri, the pilgrim center. It has 31 sections. Jejuri has 31 sections. Who is Madonna in Refugee Mother and Child by Achibe? Who is Madonna? Madonna is the Holy Mother Mary. Mad Holy Mother Mary is Madonna. Which anti-war poem by Bruce Daw? Bruce Daw, famous poet, protests Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War during the 1960s. Bruce Daw's anti-war poem. That describes Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War. It is homecoming. Bruce Dawes, homecoming. Which poet described himself as not an Indian poet, but a poet writing a universal language of poetry, of feeling, of love, hate and sex. Meena Alexander and Meena Kandasamy won't say this. Is it A.K. Meherotra or K.K. and Daruwala? Poet writing in a universal language. It is A.K. Meharotra who said it. He wrote in a very surrealistic style. A.K. Meharotra is the uh, author of Death of a Sunday Painter. He wrote an illustrated history of Indian literature in English. Which among the following poems is an elegy written by Arnold for his father? That is easy. It is Rugby Chapel. Arnold's elegy for his father is Rugby Chapel. Mark Strand, remember he was US Poet Laureate. He won Pulitzer Prize for the work Dash in the year Dash. Mark Strand won Pulitzer Prize for the work 
blizzard of one in 1999 mark strand remember in contemporary poet which australian award given for lifetime achievement in poetry was formally known as robert frost prize first it was called robert frost prize now it is called christopher brennan award christopher brennan was an important australian poet okay who are the cultured apes according to ad hope in the famous australia famous poem australia whom does he call cultured apes bolo cultured apes he is calling of course the australians cultured apes he is criticizing the australians and calling them cultured apes in udguru nunukals no more boomerang the indigenous people have lost the boomerang and the spear and gained the dash no more boomerang she is criticizing white people they came gave indigenous people something and took their boomerang and spear did the white people give them bar and beer power and money definitely not power and money did the white people give them chain and cane did the white people give them gun and sword white people gave them are kya hai just think before you answer it is very very easy white people white people gave aborigines gun and sword eh when did they give aborigines did did the did the white people give aborigines gun and sword why are all of you answering wrong without thinking even a single person didn't say the correct answer i think i'm so furious look at this it is so easy no i won't tell you the answer i want you to say the answer again going on saying wrong 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 what did the white people give the aborigines to shut them up it is of course bar and beer bar and beer they started drinking the aborigines became drunkards they started drinking the white people gave them bar and beer they didn't have bar and beer before i'm so furious without thinking something or the other you will say if you do like this in the exam what will happen isn't it obvious did the white people give aborigines chain and cane what do you mean by that think and answer many questions in net are actually simple questions okay yeah from the options given below select the first poem written by g m hopkins in sprung rhythm some questions are difficult but some questions you can simply apply your common sense and answer that is what i am saying it's okay it's okay it's okay i love you all so many answers you said it's wonderful but for an obvious answer when you make a mistake i just wanted to show you that that is wrong you shouldn't do that that's all you guys know a lot of things don't worry definitely not winover everybody should know wreck of the deutschland became came before winover winover is a famous poem but wreck of the deutschland is his first major poem it came before winover now you will remember na now you will remember wreck of the deutschland very famous major early poem written about the death of five franciscan nuns after that only we know our came okay it is it is no, well known actually okay next which australian feminist poet is the author of the works hidden journey this is difficult even if you make a mistake it's okay it i'm just giving you information dorothy huet dorothy huet don't forget okay hidden journey windmill country rapunzel in suburbia then the poem night by vole soinga vole soinga's poetry important the poem night by vole soinga represents dash the poem night by vole soinga represents new world new world new world america then what is the metrical style 
used by Robert Bridges in the Testament of Beauty. The metrical style used by Robert Bridges in the Testament of Beauty, what is it called? Tell me guys, it is famously Luz Alexandrines, Luz Alexandrines, will you remember, next, Sonia Sanchez, African American poet Sonia Sanchez. Right on, White America, she wrote. Sonia Sanchez is remember is uh, remember very important poet, African American poet. She was a leading figure in Black Arts Movement. Okay, Black Arts Movement. She wrote Right on, White America. What is it about? It is a protest against the fact that America still has a frontier mentality. America still has a frontier mentality. The 125th Street and Abomi Audre Lord. In 120 sorry, in 125th Street and Abomi, Audre Lord refers to images from Audrey Lord is another important writer, black writer. African mythology. Audrey Lord's famous poems I have given here, remember. I walk through the long schoolroom questioning which op a poem opens thus. That is important and easy. I walk through the long schoolroom questioning. It is WBHS among school children. Among school children. Another easy question. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. These are lines from? Are everybody knows. All of you will answer. It is the second coming by W.B. Yeats. The second coming by W.B. Yeats. Which leading Australian poet described himself as the last of the Jindy Vorobacks? Australian poet. It is Les Murray. Australian poet Les Murray, famous, okay? Just two more questions. In Gwendolyn Brooks' poem, Kitchenet Building, Kitchenet Building, will you look it up? What is the most important? What is most important to the building's inhabitants? It is about the poor people. It is a bathroom with warm water. You know? Uh, it is about the deprivation of the poor people, Kitchenet building. Who wrote Aboriginal Australia? Who is known by its first line, to the others. To the others means to the white people. Who wrote Aboriginal Australia? It is the Aboriginal writer, Jack Davis. Jack Davis. Did you get it guys? Wonderful. So, we have come to the end of this practice quiz. I hope you have all liked the video. And I hope you liked it. Will you please like the video everyone? So, all the best to you. I will meet you again tomorrow also I think. Uh, we, there will be more sessions. Please join me in all the sessions. And... Uh, we will have another blast and exam will be easy. Don't worry. Okay. Bye-bye. God bless you. See, meet you again soon.